All right, guys, you wanna see how to do 3D text using the 3D camera tracker? Follow along. Opening up our project, I have a video clip here. I'm gonna drag into a new composition. And this is a really cool drone shot coming into an abandoned warehouse. A lot of textures, a lot of different material, great lighting. This should be a really fun one to track. First thing I wanna do is go into composition settings and go to my 3D renderer and make sure my render is at Cinema 4D. A lot of times it will default to classic 3D, so you just wanna make sure it's at Cinema 4D. I'm gonna right click on the clip and I'm gonna to go to Track and Stabilize, and I'm gonna to go to Track Camera. Now you'll see in the camera tracker and the effect panels, this is gonna take a little bit of time. It seems to be done. If you click on the effect, then you'll see all these points. This is where the fun part begins. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to right about here, and I'm gonna select a bunch of these points until you see a little target. So you'll see a target, and that's basically the point that it's, it's gonna remember. So I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna go create shadow catcher camera and light. It'll put a light there, and it'll put a shadow catcher. I'm gonna hide the shadow catcher for now. I'm gonna go back to my video clip and I'm gonna click on 3D camera tracker again. I'm gonna select that same bunch of points and I'm gonna click on create text. Now your text is gonna be right there as you can see if you breeze through it, it's kind of looks like it's, it's glued to the floor. So now all we gotta do is make sure that our selection tool is selected and you see these rings, we're basically going to adjust this text layer. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna highlight my text and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna write grit. If I toggle on and off the light, it's hitting it pretty nicely to match the scene. I'm gonna drop down the options here and I'm gonna click on geometry options. Extrusion depth, I'm gonna make that about 25. These styles show up if you make your composition a Cinema 4D composition. So that's why we did that earlier. Okay, so now we got a pretty nice scene here. You can see it flies right past it. So then obviously you could change, you could change your light. So if I go to double click on the light and I go to color and I pinpoint maybe with some of the sun the orange. And then I can make make it a little brighter. That looks pretty good. And you could also adjust the different, the specular intensity and the shininess of the actual text. And if I want, I could obviously add another light to it. If I want to make a spotlight, I want to add something from behind maybe, adjust it a little bit so it's almost like a little bit of an edge light. Okay, so then I obviously from here, as the drone moves in the scene, you could see that the, the pillars kind of get in the way. So what I can do is, if I duplicate my video layer, and I keep this as a 2D layer, I can go to my pen tool. So you could do a number of different things, but it all depends on how your footage reacts to, you know, certain tracks and stuff like that. So for now, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna hit M, grab my mask path. I'm gonna track my mask, go up to the tracker panel and then track it like that. It's not doing that great of a job. So I'll delete that. And I'll just adjust the positioning of this this mask, basically the part that I'm worried about is right here where it kind of overlaps over the G. Right here in the beginning, I would have to mask out this part. So I could do the same thing even with this layer here.
Now obviously I can go back and adjust my pillar here if I want to, but for now, you get the idea. And then I could do the same thing that I did with this pillar, with this one over here, if I want to add something into the background here. So basically just playing with depth. If I wanna add another text here, I could just click back on this 3D camera tracker. If I wanna add it right about there, I can create a text, play around with the positioning of it. All right, so I'm just gonna jump ahead here. And this is my final composition here that I put together, incorporating different lights, different masks that are being tracked, lights, and most of all, the 3D camera tracker. So there you have it. That's how you do 3D text and After Effects. So now you get a good understanding of how to add text, add different layers, composite different items in your composition. Remember, the key to mastering After Effects is practice. So after a while, you'll learn different effects that you can combine with each other, and you'll be able to add your creative spin to any video. That's it for today. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you like this video, subscribe, comment below. See you next time.